G'day folks, for, for tonight's equipment autopsy we have a Delphi common rail injection pump, diesel pump. Uh, I don't know the pressure specs on this but it can. some common rail diesels can run up to 44,000 psi. These ones here are pretty high too, I think they're about 30,000 or 35,000 psi. Pretty impressive. Uh, I believe that's probably a uh, pressure transducer for the high side and that'll be a pressure transducer for the low side maybe to tell if there's an inlet obstruction or the filter's blocked because uh, low pressure must come into the body of the pump here and also up to here looks like a spill return line uh, interesting stuff this came off my uh, manager's uh, Hyundai Terracan CDI it's a Kia built engine uh, 2.9 litre, 4 cylinder. Uh, just suddenly decided to start playing up one day and the pump was putting metallic debris into the uh, injectors. Destroyed the injectors and everything and when he went to Hyundai about parts, well, they wanted him to basically bend over and take it without lube, just like this pump probably did. Um, it would have cost him about $10,000 to re rebuild the system. This alone was about $6,800 but he found a second handy or so called Rico air quotes from uh, Korea for 400 bucks and good injectors, new injectors from Delphi they were made in France sold from a Chinese website and then shipped to Australia for 250 and that was the cheapest he could get them go figure, getting them straight out of France was actually more expensive so it, uh, it's an interesting little uh, endeavour and a lot cheaper than getting, a, obviously getting Hyundai to supply the parts, much less fit them. But the pump put metallic debris through the injectors at incredibly high pressure. As you can imagine going from the high pressure side to the spill side, the return, and having metallic debris go through those spill valves at 33,000 psi down to probably 100 psi or something line pressure at the most, maybe even lower because this fitting's all plastic. So it wouldn't be very high pressure. Um, that would have an incredible abrasive effect on the uh, internals of the system. And uh, obviously it destroyed the injectors. He's going to find the injectors in his garage. He's found the, this pump. The uh, pump that he got out of Korea has piked it after a few thousand k's. Uh, that's why it never looked like a Rico, and that's why we suspect it wasn't a Rico because it's probably just pulled off a wreck. And Australia is not known for having particularly good diesel. That's why it's taken so long to get common rail diesels over here, because our fuel is generally garbage. Particularly if you buy it from a United Fuel Station, it's kind of renowned for blowing up diesels. And this thing's under spring pressure. Um. Yeah, so he's had a bit of trouble with it. He's actually looking at trading it for... He'll get about 10 grand trading on a Holden Colorado 7. It's a seven-seater wagon about the size of a Nissan Pathfinder or a Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. Uh, it's about 50k for it, but he's uh, got friends in the auto industry and Holden who are going to do him a really good deal basically a dealer manager thing so probably knock about 18 grand off the cost including trading on the old uh, Terracan which now has a new pump in it when he first looked 12 months ago or so he couldn't find one of these on eBay brand new in Australia for a reasonable price like under like 4,000 bucks uh, now 12 months later he found one exactly the same a genuine Delphi one for 1,250 go figure it's kind of like dealing with plasma TVs. Give them uh, another 12 months and the price of boards halves or quart even goes in quarters. Alright, this thing's loose and it's not under tension anymore. Let's take this little gadget off the back. So, yeah, he's uh, had a bit of fun with the car. His missus hates cars that break down, so I think he's mostly getting a new car for the fact that she just doesn't want something that's going to do this kind of thing again, and I don't really blame her. It just turns into a money pit. I mean, it's not Hyundai's fault. It's not Kia's fault. It's actually, it, the whole system's made by Delphi. And Delphi do pretty good stuff, but a lot of these early 2000s common rails just have major problems with our fuel. That's why it took so long to get the buggers out of here. Right, 
get off. There's a seal holding it in. Yeah, I mean, a lot of manufacturers were really hesitant to sell common rail diesels in Australia because our fuel was just garbage for so long, and it still is. I'm really hesitant to use fuel from United Fuels, even if it's just regular gasoline, it's just junk. All right, I'm not going to try and get that thing off. I'm guessing it's either a solenoid, maybe an unload, unload solenoid, or sh actually probably a shut-off solenoid. Although the injectors are electronic, so they can shut off themselves. It's either a high-pressure transducer that tells it how much pressure is coming out of the pump, or it's a solenoid for something. I think that's everything. Surprisingly little amount of screws for a pump that's supposed to make tens of thousands of PSI. Oops. There's lots of little bits going everywhere. <laughs> Well, if I was going to get this back together again, that's probably not going to happen. Look at that. Little rollers. Oh no, they're flying out everywhere. You're going to fly out too, aren't you? Look at that. There's lots of little sub rollers in there too. There's a wave washer. What's going on in there? I have no idea where those little ones came out of. Oh, the little ones probably go down inside here. Yep. And the springs, obviously. The springs have gone AWOL as well. But you can see... You're also supposed to go up here. So there's two high ones and two low ones. And that goes down to the output side. I'm guessing there's valves inside this body. Wow. I've got no idea what that's supposed to do. It's one of the most alien looking pumps I've ever seen. Again, I'm going to have to really sit down and examine this pump to work out where that metallic debris was coming from. But I can see flecks of it coming out onto the uh, tablecloth here. There's a bit of extra diesel. And again. Yeah, no major amount of shinies. Oh, look at that. There's an outer housing. Oops, I can't see that. don't know. There is? There are some scuff marks in there. Look at that. Yeah, there's some unusual looking scuff marks in there, particularly there. It's actually rough. I wonder if the metallic debris going through the injectors was aluminium, not iron. So you did ask if it was possible to engineer a uh, magnetic inline filter, like using hydro steel hydraulic fittings coming off the pump, and just put some donut neodymium magnets in it. But the problem is, if it's aluminium debris like this stuff here, the magnet's not going to do anything. Yeah, there's the main body and the bearing. Oh, look at that. That's slick. This whole bearing would be completely immersed 100% of the time. This whole pump body would be completely free of air. I can feel grindies in it though. There is debris in it. The inside of the housing itself is fine. There's no obvious scuff marks. No obvious step. Yeah, this, this housing is fine. It's even got a data cube code on it. <laughs> yeah, so that goes over there. It's just an outer shell though. Where's the... There's nowhere for it to contact. Why there's scuff marks like that on it? It's beyond me. I'm guessing probably because it's just raw extrusion that's been cleaned. There's no, there's no contact, so it can't be aluminium debris. Um, what's at the front here? Ah, oh, there's some more screws to take out.
This is me rummaging through a dirty box of Torx bits while looking for metallic debris. You're a tight one. Hmm. Yeah, there's something else in the front here. It's like maybe a primary lift pump. It's got me buggered how the high pressure pump works though. It's really interesting. There's nothing obviously scored unless it's coming from the very front here. I need a better driver to try and get those uh, torque screws out. <laughs> 